While the vast majority of COVID cases are people who are not vaccinated, there are some so-called breakthrough cases. And those are the people who develop a COVID infection even after receiving a vaccine. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us that that is extremely rare, but it can happen. My lungs are clogged up with mucus and blood. Those are likely some of Angel Mosley's last words as her mother read them from a text to CBS This Morning's David Begno. I prayed with her and I had to show her that, you know, we love her. Angel died that day. She was 33 years old. But earlier when Angel tested positive for COVID, she had told her mother and sister that she was vaccinated. Breakthrough cases like Angel make up less than 1% of all COVID cases. Of the more than 168 million Americans who've been fully vaccinated, around 8,000 have been hospitalized or died of COVID. That's about 0.005%. So what would Angel's mother respond to people who say she got vaccinated and still died? I would still say to them, still be vaccinated because her weight played a lot in it. Angel's doctor had warned her that her weight was a serious risk factor. He told me, this being said she's a large person, her heart could not pump like it should have been pumping. The CDC says that people with certain comorbidities are more at risk for having severe symptoms or dying of COVID-19, among them obesity, chronic kidney and heart disease, asthma, cancer, and diabetes. In many hospitals, the average age for these breakthrough infections is 74 years old. Can't avoid growing old. Bottom line, vaccines will likely save your life or keep you from getting seriously ill. So they are still highly recommended, especially if you have a severe underlying condition. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS2 News.